Hello and good evening. It is time for Adventure Thursdays. Now at a new time. And by new time, I mean new day and new time. Because it used to be Adventure Friday, but now it's Adventure Thursday. Because this is just a little more convenient for me. <clears throat> so today, we are going to be playing Firewatch, and this is my first playthrough uh, of this game, so no spoilers, please. Um, I've already got everything set in settings, so uh, if the game sounds good to folks, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Click on things. It is about your age, late 20s, laughing with well dressed profession professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Approach her. You are drunk. Oh boy. I'm not that drunk. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask. She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. in an elevator. I have feet. Nice. Can I go upstairs? No. Garage. Up. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Oh, I like German Shepherds, but I guess we'll get the beagle. Let's be nice. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. One day, by rush. 
She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the bodies, the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. This is pretty. Don't have anything in the back. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Don't forget to check in. No fireworks. Learn to live with bears. Two forks. Sure this will be important. Warning, Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. This trail may be vague along several... Yeah, blah blah blah. Make a plan. Be prepared. Don't hike without water. All the usual things. Gosh, this is pretty. Oh, fade out. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and get angry and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets when she gets between the sheets. Uh do I get mad or do I ignore her? Both are bad options. Both of these are bad options. Don't do either of these things, kids. <sighs> you call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Yeah, it might be the less destructive one. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. I can pose and flex like He-Man or frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Let's violate gender norms. Very nice. Wow, it's pretty. I keep saying that, but it's true. It's just very pretty. Mm. Ugh, so good. Two forks, fire lookout. Eight more miles. Oh boy. That's a hike to get to work. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Fun. Bucket gets kicked. Uh, but fuck, dog, she, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. I'm going to scare him away. 
You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of, uh, all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh. Again, these are both terrible options. These are both bad options. Both of these are bad. for agreeing if she commutes it seems n more kind than talking her out of it? I don't know. These are hard choices. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if, she will, if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely less morally shady and, and less, uh, demand- mm, It's less demanding, but it's still pretty demanding. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh boy. She was found crying in the stairwell. <sighs> I mean, I think we should talk to someone about it, definitely. That's more productive than just drinking and forgetting. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early-onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oof. Oof. Ah. <sighs> That's rough. Oh, hi, content warning. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Nineteen eighty-seven. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Ugh. Oh. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. Oh, oh these are all so bad. Oh, I know from experience that doing it by yourself is not a long-term proposition. Oh.
We gotta get help. That's... Ugh. Game is pretty and it's also very mean. family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Nineteen eighty nine, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. <sighs> You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So far, I have watched exactly zero fires. I was promised watching fires, not emotional roller coasters. That was rough. Ouch. At least the game is still pretty. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Here's the radio. The map. Eat. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Oh, there Come we go. In. Hold left shift to activate. Ah, okay. Um, nice. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, it's time, too. I like that. Okay, um, you're... Probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, 
She also says I fuck immature men, but <laughs> in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Is this a thing that just let you let people do without training? That's interesting. Good morning, Henry. Well, or like I guess without a lot down. of training. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. See me. Where's her lookout tower? Who knows? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language. Oh, there she is. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Really? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Door. <sighs> what kind of idiot sets off fireworks in a national park during fire season? I mean, really. Oh, map. Find rope in cash box 306. Okay. Cool. Cool. Ah, okay. I thought that was an arrow. But no, that's just my location and the watchtower. Okay, I am heading the right way then. Jonesy Lake. Run. Nope. Just shift. This is like this is like abduction in the jump button, being spacebar, but not jumping, but taking a picture instead. Like you can't take a picture, you can only or you can't jump, you can only take a picture. In this, you can't run, you can only talk on the radio. Sure, I'm taking the right trail. 
Yes. Ah. Uh. Do do do. Go beat up some kids. Not that way. Cash box. One, two, three, four. Success. State map. Take note. Read note. Ron, hey man, couldn't guy couldn't take it. So I locked up his lockout lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found out found one of those bars you liked hiking to the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Okie dokie. Ah, left click. Old rope. Granola bar. I will take the granola bar. It's my granola bar now. Oh, can I check the map on the lid? No. No, it just updates the map. So it's on my map now. I cannot check the map and hold the granola bar, so I'll eat the granola bar. I'm assuming I just woke up and I'm hungry. Role playing. Um. All right. Well, let's go straight. It's faster. Oops. So, this way, probably. Check the map in a second. Nope, not this way. This way. Oh, I'm sure it's hard to get lost. I'm just trying to do this quickly because, you know, idiots setting off fireworks in a national park. There we go. Okay. Oh, there is a run button, it's just R. Dude, do, 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 do. Near them. I think they're coming from over that way. Oh, there we go. Shale slide. It's steep. It is. This is fun to do without a harness. Did I break my radio? I really hope I didn't break my radio. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake.
it's probably at that campsite. I'm still heading the right way. Hmm. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Campfire. <sighs> I really hate these people right now. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh. Oh, hey. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscated. Just eat you No backpacks. Good, that means they'll be coming back. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Idiots can't be trusted with this. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. This precious. Oh boy. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. <sighs> A bra. So just leave that there. That's fine. Panties, good. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <sighs> I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. Shit, or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Well, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we <sighs> I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Mark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? You're totally. You're gross. 
You're gross. Patience for you idiots. Enjoy your no whiskey. <sighs> I didn't say I was going to drown them. I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Ah, okay. I have to go through the canyon. Oh boy, this is gonna be a walk. Ah, <sighs> through the canyon, through a cave. Get back to the lookout. Okay. Well, better get a move on. Yeah, I had read that, um, that it's tied to story progression. I think that's actually an interesting way of, of uh, accomplishing that. Canyon. Stars are coming out. Oh. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um... I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Two... Two forks lookout. Over there. 
Oh, so it is. There in the corner. Nice. I'm just gonna follow the... or not climb. I think I need to. Oh good. That's a good sound. It's a good sound for being in a canyon. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Oh boy. Uh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? <laughs> oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? I'm loving this. Aw, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes. info curious if the the preset numbers on these are randomly generated or if they are symbolic of something they mean anything Ooh, a flashlight that's gonna be nice or it would be ah. ow horn Ah, what a good flashlight. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> it looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Hmm. Wyoming. Hello? Henry, you're a dork. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. I didn't say uh, I wasn't. She lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Bonk. Neat. Climb rocks. <laughs> Carefully climb rocks.
Ooh, thunderstorm clouds. This is a nice use of the cave to change the skybox. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's Dude. looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. That people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay, yeah, Delilah's growing on me. <laughs> do, do, do. Climbing the hill. A lot of switchback. That's a view. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Do a little more jogging here. Trail closed. Uh, well done. Well done, Henry. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. <laughs> Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> I mean, you are in the middle of nowhere. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I huh? could never. Wow. This is very pretty. I keep saying that. Baseball. Baseball. Oh. I like the outhouse in a rustic, I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, 
privacy. I like it all the same. Okay. What a fun first day of work. Second day of work. Hey Gumby. Going pretty good. How's it going for you? Hello, typewriter. Uh what can I do for you? Well my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh the wind? No. How the hell you should get inside. Fuck me. Yeah, that's a great sign. Super great sign. Great. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Well, that's... What a comfort. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. That was abrupt. <sighs> Glad to hear you're doing good, Gumby. What are you having for dinner? Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Good. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Ooh, meatloaf. Ice. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. That's a cute picture. Hmm. 
No vegan meatloaf. Interesting. Huh. Crime novels. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I opened the desk drawer last night and it apparently closed the drawer, but didn't put the book back. I read a lot of crime novels. Interesting. Or whoever was here last did. That is kind of cute. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Hmm? Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Oops. Spill my mug. It's fine. Bleach. Don't need bleach. Coffee. I didn't really get a chance to look around a whole lot yesterday because of the uh, sudden onset of fireworks. Space puffs! Space puffs. And beans. I guess tuna? Yep, tuna. Board games. Plates clipping through the box. Oops. Glass cleaner. Oil soap. Huh. Forest guidebook. Yes. Cannot have Henry, stop making a mess. <sighs> oh, for getting resin out. I see. I like that little detail of ducking under the, the walkway there. That's good. It's the little touches I enjoy. Let's see. Survey calm lines north of the canyon. Boy. That's a ways. Alright. So this way, I think. I think. Maybe. Sort of. of steel. That's not a short drop. <laughs> Henry has an amazing dex roll. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? 
Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. I know that feeling. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hmm. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oops. I made Delilah mad. Yeah. Also, it wasn't particularly something that I would have expected her to get standoffish in response about, so, like, you know, double loops, double yikes. Going for a run through the forest in the morning because it's cold. Always cold in the forest in the morning. I have camped enough to know that it is always cold in the forest in the morning. Even in even in freaking July. Coming up on. Telephone wires. Telephone wires are intact here. That one's good. That one's good. Beartooth Point. Thoroughfare Fire Lookout. Alrighty. Oh, I thought that was a tent for a second. That's a rock. Hup. Seem okay so far. Oh, wait. I see a hole. No. Can't call Delilah about it yet. Running and running and running. Ooh, cash. Means more map updates. Sun's come out. That's good. Burned off a lot of the fog. It's up. Is it... No. Come around here. Yes. Okay. Just had to find the path.
two, three, four, it's the kind of combination I'd have on my luggage. Map. What's new on map? Trails. All the trails. Alrighty. Flora of the Shoshone. Note. Them in note. 86. Wow, that's old. Dave, hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers. You know. Amigos. Professionales. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go, go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Up note. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> Pine cones. Board. No, they're not our books. Secret book. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia, but when a grisly murder in South City leads all the way back to Sydney. <laughs> Black is determined to make the killer say good day to justice. The critics rave over crime by the numbers. Black makes Sam Spade look like Mickey Mouse. We are living in a golden age of crime fiction and Sturgeon is King Midas. Crime by the numbers is as, is as if Tolstoy wrote the something dime store novels of my youth. There may not be a better depic depictor of drama in our lifetime. Greta O'Hulian, O'Hulahan, The Boston Times. 250. Wow. Cheap book. Um. Oh, hi, turtle. Oh, well, I'm not going to pick up the turtle. That's rude. Um. Note, I need you to chill a little bit. Note, hello. Just gonna put you down. Down there. Alright. Where'd the power lines go? They went that way. Of course they did. Where am I? I am up here. Oh good, I can get back down without having to backtrack. Going for a run. Can I? Really? Oh, no. I'm off the trail now. You have to go this way. Alrighty then. Another little swingy arm run. Doo 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 doo. I'm not going too far back. Good. Do 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 do. <sighs> hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here, leading up the hill. That's 
annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Agree. How could these girls be so stupid? Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. My knees. Follow the wire. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something All right, Gumby, have a good one. Girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Classy. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, I thought it was a plastic bag at first, too. It's not a plastic bag. <sighs> Chat, I need you to not be these teenage girls, okay? Stay home. Hang out with me. And play Firewatch, and don't go set fires in national parks, okay? Ah. Uh, the one way. Alright, what do we got here? Fly drop. Lila's lookout. Jonesy Lake and my lookout. Alright, well, we're supposed to double back this way, aren't we? Find the teens. Yeah, let's go back to, uh... Let's go to cache 241. We'll see if we can get an update on trails. Jog, jog. Is there? Oh. Yeah, I guess we should do that before we head south, because 
Who knows? Who knows? Well, we'll find out when we come back. Probably a good idea to check the, uh, check the north side before we head south, because I don't know when we'll be back up here. Supply cache is... Supply drop is this way. Open. One, two, three, four. Huh. Interesting. Maybe we will be back this way. I guess we'll find out. Not gonna go pester Delilah though. <laughs> yeah, it's weird you can't relock it. But, oh well. Now we can check out that tree. And the view. Wow. Over here real quick. Wow. Wow. Ready. And like this is a really ooh, for repellent. Oh, that's a good sign. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Yoink. Brian Goodwin. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian huh. Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. <laughs> Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Mm. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I am a furry. Oh, hey, and thank you for the follow, we mate. Yeah, that. Hmm. That doesn't look good. That looks bad. That's a bad look. That's a real bad look. Hmm. Yeah. 
Gosh, I hope there isn't. I think I can get over there, though. Doesn't look like I can. Nope. Environmental storytelling. Always use the blue rope. <laughs> I'll do my best not to, we mate. Safety first, that's why all the combination locks are one, two, three, four. Update our map here. Another note. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heal Steve, it's your man Ron! I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that er, having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Alrighty. Oh, I keep them. Well, that would have been good to notice earlier. Hmm. Speaking of photodome. Loose stone. But the loose stone wasn't hiding anything. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Cool. Jonesy Lake. Come. Hey. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but <sighs> I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. We don't really need to talk about this stuff, right? Well, what would you prefer? Uh, literally anything. Do you want to know about the homeopathic remedy for yeast infections I came up with last summer? Okay, never mind. You're lost, pal. Let's see. No, oh, that does just go up to a dead end, so we gotta go the other way. <sighs> Delilah is a bit isolated. Let's go with isolated. Let's see here. Make sure I'm. Meadow, canyon, 
Yeah, this seems like a good, uh... Odds are good they came back this way since their campsite was down here. Ah, uh, alright. <clears throat> keep hitting shift to run. Shift is not run, shift is use the radio. Oh yeah, no, not I'm not blaming her for anything, she's just a little bit uh goofy sometimes. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini. You've got just the name to use. Thanks, Delilah. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Burned area. Burned tree. Let's see here. I guess we have to go this direction. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Beals are threatening to return. that column of smoke. Okay. Wow, that's a nice view down there. Oh, I know where I am now. Get it.
smokes that way. Yeah, I don't know who that other guy was, though. I don't know if he'll come up. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. I have to be a little more specific there, uh, Wee Mate. What, what were you looking at? Oh, Alzheimer's is a, a mental disorder that causes you to lose your uh, lose your memories. in a very, very, uh, abbreviated description. <laughs> well... The teens are gone. Is very out. Their packs are gone. They aren't still here. Hmm. All right. Well, let's head for Cash Three O Nine. Actually, let's go to Three O Five since we're over here. Yeah, let's go to 305 while we're here, and then we'll circle around. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mmm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was, because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Same thing. Liquid courage. Supply cash. One, two, three, four. They're all one, two, three, four. Update our map.
Another note. Ron, got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionales is Italian. <laughs> wow. Another book. So many Richard Sturgeon books. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even a p enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class... Uh... Something a trans-American thriller that puts Neil... Something... The South City Streets and slams him... Something first, I guess, into... Face first? Face first? Into a sordid web of politics and high finance, and all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Fourth Estate is a new ter is new territory for Sturgeon and is not to be missed. Huh. Hank. Henry. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls? I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. The world is a weird place. Alright. What do we got on our map now? Petey Meadow. Neil Point. Thoroughfare Basin. Five miles down there. Alright, well, I think we're gonna have to go through the meadow? Not that meadow, but this meadow. Past the campsite and then south, I think. Because I don't know if we can get around on the, the lakeside. Let's give that a try. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents... I, uh... I think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can do anything at the lakeside, so... Back through to the meadow. Yeah, if you weren't here at the beginning, we had a whole ch kind of choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing where we, um... We had to, uh... Choose whether or not to take care of her, of Julia ourselves, or um, put her in a home. And just working from personal experience with this kind of thing, it's not something you can do on your own. And so we we made the also equally bad decision to put her in a 24-hour care center and uh, or care facility. And um, her family was not a big fan of that idea. So yeah go over well with them. Ah, excellent. Rope hook.
It's a nice canyon. Farther we got here. Ah, oh, a ways. Alright, well. Time waits for no man, except when it does because it only advances when the story does. Oh. I don't see the smoke column anymore. Anywhere. That's interesting. Supply cash. One, two, three, four. Got five mile creek paths, Cottonwood Creek, Ruby River. Wire. Huh. Interesting. All right. Pine coal. Uh, the QIA plus in LGBTQIA plus stands for uh, queer, uh, intersex, I think, and uh, asexual. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. I feel like that's... I'm having aspersions cast upon me that are, you know, not fair. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Stream. Good timing, game. Yep, getting there. It's very pretty here. I keep saying it and it keeps being true. This is a very well designed and, and very artistically implemented game. I love it. Good music too.
It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. There. Oh, your can. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Oh yeah. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Good eye. There's something. Delilah's Tower, behind this rock. like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Can I have them back, game? I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Pants! They're back! Were they ever gone? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Hunks, hunks, hunks. You want them, we got them. Tame your hunk! Wow. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Stay in the fire pit at least, please, logs. like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Woof. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. That is good thinking, Delilah. Thank you. Oh dear. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Love. Oh, well, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's 
It's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. I don't think it's going to be a quiet summer, guys. <sighs> hey, Henry? Yeah? Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Sure, let's well, go with Burt Reynolds. confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you asked. Wow. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. <laughs> Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Hi. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is... Is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Climb inside. Are there boards in here? Nope. No boards. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna go until about, um, uh, until about 8.30. Boards. Where are you, boards? Oh, there's another one. Yoink. Yeah, I might. I should probably take a break once I finish picking up all these boards. Where is there? The map say. Get a couple more boards. Well, a couple is two. Two is a couple. Oh, there's another one. Good enough. Got there.
I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, the clock in here is broken. Whoa, the clock in here is broken. How are we supposed to report the time? I don't even know. Do you think anyone knows what time it is? Are all the clocks broken? You are the worst. Horace Burns is a little creepy. Air bucket. Ah, toilet paper. I've been needing that. Different book. Different author. Romance book. Ah, interesting. The Singular Mind by Dr. Jonas Allard. Have you considered the untapped power of your own mind? Do you often ponder the unexplainable? Do you find yourself seeing that which is not there? Do you yearn to explore the labyrinth of your own psyche? Uh, Jonas Allard, PhD, renowned psychoanalyst and Rhodes Chair of Psychology at Loyola Marymount, uh, as he explores the power of the solitary mind, this incisive but accessible treatise on the avenue or on the power of an isolated psyche unclogs the avenues of our day-to-day -day thoughts, helping us unlock the psychological potential buried deep within ourselves. The Seattle Enterprise readers will be enraptured by this powerful exploration of Dr. Allard's hypervigilant methods of neuroisolation. That sounds like a bad thing to do. San Francisco Re Review of Books. The quintessential roadmap of mental enlightenment. Dr. Allard is a wizard. Okay. But don't, don't neuro-isolate yourself. Herbs. Featuring every species statewide with more than 300 illustrations, photographs, and maps. Neat. Hey, neat. probably get some good money for that toilet paper, yeah. But I think I need it more. Um, let's see here. Boy, I just got books everywhere. Um, I think I'm ready. Well, let's, let's take a break and then we'll get ready for work. So, uh, just a moment. And, uh, we'll go on break. And we'll be back in about, uh, I don't know, five minutes or so. So, uh, sit tight, everybody. We'll be right back. A good time to come back, we mate, because I'm back too. Alrighty. Let's say we're ready for work. Okay. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Time skip. I do need to find some music to use on this channel. But Hello, Henry. We'll get there. Having a nice afternoon. Not 
too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. What a shot. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, good. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Ah, uh, I couldn't take a picture. More time skip. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh. Hey, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? a nice time yeah it's good here it's beautiful you know <sighs> that's great Henry really great <sighs> well I'll let you get back to sleep then mm, okay Jules Delilah seems nice mm-hmm sure bye baby that's a good sign that's definitely a good sign. Or time skip. Skip all the time. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Wow. So, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and... I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Then, 
um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Yeah, ouch. Ouch, ouch. It's just so nice out here. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh, big skip. That's Fine bad. Here. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Delilah's drunk. But why don't you do the honors? Maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Yeah. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Wow. You'd like it there. Sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no I'm not. <laughs> you should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... We don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could um you know. Just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Hmm. They're going 
fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? <laughs> Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, have fun with this Twitch compression. Uh. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry... I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know. Okay. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. <laughs> Ow. Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but... That conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the 
hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Long term. Understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Down we go. Nice. Fence. Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. We'll see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Scout camp on the exact opposite side of the map. Great. Uh, alright. Well. Let's get hiking. I'm curious if 18 U.S. Code Section 1863 actually means anything. But it won't let me call Delilah about it, which is... odd. Back up. I'm glad you're on the same page as me. <sighs> Trespass on national forest lands. Whoever without lawful authority or permission goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to the public pursuant to lawful regulation of the Secretary of Agriculture shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than six months or both. Well? 
At least they get to do, did their research for this. Interesting. going is going to take me back past the lookout station and then head south from there, I guess. Hope I can cross the river. <sighs> hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I used. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Where am I? No, oh, I took a shortcut. Okay. You know, depending on how long it takes to get there, I might just call it once we get to this, uh, to the scout camp. Uh, did I leave this one open? I might have. It's fine. It's fine. This is a fine granola bar. <laughs> and now it's gone forever. <laughs> ah, okay. I did leave it open. Now I'm getting paranoid. Ruby River, this away. Up, 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 up. Ah. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. This 
burned out too. Getting close. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. That's a good poster design. That's a really good poster design. What do we got on the map? Fire break. and then left. Oh! Another Richard Sturgeon book. When FBI informants need protection, you call the police. When those informants wind up dead, you call Neil Black. In a rain-soaked return to South City, Neil Black is hung out to dry as the only man who can piece a, an FBI case back together with danger lurking, lurking around every corner. Introducing Black's something nemesis, the shadowy Don Carl, three blind mice is Sturgeon at his best. Uh, Neil Black is stabbed in the back. Who will be the one holding the carving knife? One thing's for sure, it's not the farmer's wife. Wow, these are just... Wow. Deeply iconic is a word, yeah. That's a neat tree. Big tree! Why is there a s- Why is there a ski at the big tree? That's weird. That's weird. You're weird. Really digging this music, it's good music. Bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, 
side is just keep heading east. You'll cross a small ravine and you shouldn't be able to miss it. Well, hey. The weird stuff just keeps happening. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. I just said that. Yeah, I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. It never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. <laughs> Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> the bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Probably this way. Lead the player with trail paths. Right. Got there. Yeah, this is very Boy Scout camp. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Yeah. Oh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. <laughs> what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons, armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Wow. This is definitely scout camp material. Huh. The interact for that was a little offset. Yeah, that that does explain the D and D map. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. You usually don't put bear traps in with there them, are though. Bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. It's the same guy. Huh. I know what these are. These... I've been in these. <laughs> That's a little weird. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh. Oh. Uh. Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Ranger District, Rebel, Wyoming. Uh, re Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad Bots Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with fire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. 
but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service, uh, Rich Sislerenko, Assistant Superintendent. Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <clears throat> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And... A Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. I am going to leave it here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I can, I can peek in. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Guess I need that trowel anyway. Give poop trowel. the trial for that. That's a tree stump. That's a rock. Can I climb up this? I sure can. Not all the way though. Oh god, I'm freaking out. back here. Anything back here? Alright, we're back at the shelters. We got this one, which we looked in. Then there's this one, which we hadn't. Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything in this one. And then there's this one, which we also looked in. I think that's everything. It's over here. I need an axe, apparently. I didn't see a symbol anywhere. Oh, that symbol. Um, I don't know. I don't think it means anything, especially since it's not really a, like, it's not a hover-over thing. Let's see. 
Need an axe. Where could I find an axe? I'm gonna need to chop down that tree to get over to the other side of this ravine again. So the axe has to be on this side of the ravine. Somewhere. Yeah, but there isn't, uh... Um, there isn't a supply box over here. Or, there's this one, but there's nothing in it. Uh, no, don't, don't look just yet. I want to poke my head around a little more. See if it's just off the beaten path anywhere. Pole. Yeah, this is super, super, super familiar. Although technically Weeblos were Cub Scouts, so you probably wouldn't find them out here. Oh, axe in the tree. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Doink. Axe get. Aya. Oh, okay. It's just this side. Chop down tree. Hooray! Alrighty, well, turn to Wapiti Meadow. That's going to be a long freaking walk. Gate! Uh, um, well, yeah, it's a few minutes to 8.30, and I think this is as good a place to call it as any um, for the night, so I appreciate everybody stopping by to watch me stream. Um... I'll just go ahead and wrap up here because it's going to be a long walk and then there's going to be a big chunk of story, I'm sure. So we'll call it here for tonight and we'll be back with this again next week on Thursday at 5.30 Pacific. Uh, we'll continue our, our trek through uh, Firewatch. And uh, once again, thank you everybody for coming. Um, I have a stream on Saturday for Destiny. Um, and I will see if you were not interested in that, then, uh, like I said, I'll see you again next Thursday. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you coming. See you later.